Hi everyone, I'll be talking about our work on learning exploration for object navigation human demonstrations. This work was done with my collaborators at Chojetech and FAIR and forms the basis of our submission to the object nav track of Habitat Challenge. Object code navigation tasks the agent with searching for and stopping at an instance of a goal category, for example a chair in an unseen environment. The agent is provided with RGBD and GPS plus compass sensors for localization. Prior works on object code navigation tasks have primarily focused on training agents via reinforcement learning. Although these approaches achieve commendable success, they require carefully designed dense reward functions to learn exploration. Manually designing rewards is hard and insufficient. Instead, it's arguably cheaper or more efficient to collect expert demonstrations for various embodied tasks from humans. In this work, we ask an attempt to answer the question how well does behavior clue and scale for tasks such as object map. To collect demonstrations for an embodied task at scale, we develop a web-based setup to connect Habitat Simulator to Amazon Mechanical Turk users. Specifically, the Habitat WebGL application running on the browser enables users to control an agent situated in a about 3D environment. After users submits the task, the sequence of keyboard actions and agent states are stored on the server. We also extend Habitat's Python API to support replaying collected trajectories to train policies. To collect 4.3 key human demonstrations on a subset of object map trained split episodes, we also build a dataset of 3.6 key shortest path trajectories on the same subset of trained split episodes. Human demonstrations have 86.8% success and 39.9% SPF. We also report coverage and area visible metrics during navigation to show human demonstration covered larger area and have a higher exploration rate compared to shortest path trajectories. We train a CNN plus RNN policy on these demonstrations via behavior cloning. We incorporate semantic features using semantic segmentation predicted by RedNet and through semantic goal exist feature which indicates how much of a frame is occupied by the goal category. Behavior cloning learns a policy offline on collected state action trajectories using supervised learning. Specifically, the policy pi with parameters theta pi maps from an observation O at time step t minus 1 to a probability distribution over actions A at time step t. Intuitively, the policy is trained to maximize conditional likelihood of actions from human demonstrations. We perform behavior cloning with inflection weighting. Conceptually, we weight predictions at time steps more heavily if the ground truth action differs from the previous one. Equation 1 defines per time step weight where ni is the number of inflection points in the data set. Figure 2 shows the task specific loss with inflection weighting. This approach is found to be helpful for tasks like navigation with long sequences for same action. We use the inflection weighting in all of our experiments as we have longer trajectories with repeated actions and found it to work better than vanilla behavior cloning. We now take a look at some quantitative results. We compare results against a behavior cloning baseline trained on shortest path trajectories with semantic features. We show results of our approach under two settings. In the first setting, the agent is trained without semantic input. In the second setting, we use semantic input. The results for both baselines show that our model outperforms the shortest path baseline in terms of success rate and SPL. Our best baseline achieves 12.7% success and 4.8% SPL on Habitat test standard leaderboard. Our best results are from policy trained on 4.3k episodes. Another policy trained on 12.5k episodes is coming soon. We now show some examples of qualitative results. The, these examples show the exploration behavior the agent learned when trained on human trajectories. Here you can see the agent learns to check corners while searching for his tool. Next we show an example of looping behavior that agent learned. Here the agent goes close to the chair but instead of stopping the agent loops around the room before successfully calling the stop action. We next see an example of peak behavior. Here the agent peeks through the door and then turns back and takes another path towards the chair. In conclusion, the behavior cloned agents learn human-like exploration and work surprisingly well for object map. Thank you for listening.